Hello, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for having me here today. Um, Amel has already mentioned a hundred years, a hundred years for organizing a referendum, a hundred years for leading peaceful demonstrations in Barcelona. A hundred years is a death sentence. It's a death sentence for Spanish democracy. <laughs> and we Catalans, we're not sinking with that Titanic. We're going on our own. We're back. After two years, following our independence referendum in 2017, some thought that it was over, but it's not. We're back. We're back stronger than we were on that 1st of October, 2017. Why do I say that we're back and we're stronger? Because if you look at the images, if you follow the news, our youth, our youth are out on the streets. They are not going to tolerate this. They have realized that if they accept this, they'll have to live in an autocracy for the rest of their lives. And they are not gonna settle for that. So, I'm an optimist, and I'm more optimist than ever for seeing all these young people, because their anger is our hope. <laughs> but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be a long struggle. People are on the streets. They're going to be on the streets for weeks, for months, who knows how long but we must persist and we shall overcome. And what is the reaction of Perdogan Sanchez? What is the reaction? Just violence, more arbitrary arrests. They arrested seven people on invented charges, they took them to Madrid, they are being hijacked in isolation cells in a prison in Madrid, they cannot communicate with their families, their rights are being ignored. It's, it's a total abuse of the state of law and they fill their mouths with, we're doing this because of the law. This is an outrage. The action of the police in Barcelona in the last past days, you've seen it. You know, it's, it's been the most vicious attack on people who were just expressing their democratic will. We have, you know, like 40 new people arrested, young people very young people, Andrea, Xenia, Paula, they are 20 year old girls in jail in Barcelona right now because they were in the demonstrations last week. We need to get them out. This is unacceptable in democratic Europe for God's sake. Democracy is being fought. You know, the future of democratic Europe, what is the front, what is the trench for the future of democratic Europe right now? That is again, as in other times in history, that is happening in Barcelona, in Catalonia right now. So please, all Democrats, Scots have been extremely supportive of the 
Catalan Democratic Cause. You will continue to be so, but you know, don't, don't fail us now. We need to keep up the struggle. We need to support the people who are sitting on the airports, the people who are sitting on the roads, the people who will be doing all kinds of actions to call the attention of the world and to get us down to a democratic solution. What do we want? It's very simple. We want three things, only three things. We don't want police violence. We want, you know, the colonial police forces, the Guardia Civil, back to Spain. We don't want them in Catalonia. Get out of Catalonia. We want, we want all the prisoners home, all of them, all of them. Stop prosecuting people for their ideas. Get them out of the hands of undemocratic judges who have no idea of what due process is. Freedom, amnesty for all political prisoners, for all Catalan political prisoners. And the third thing we want, we did take a vote for independence. Independence won in spite of violence. Okay, we're ready to vote again under international supervision. Let's see. Let's validate what Catalans decided. Let the international community, the Democrats of the international community, supervise a self-determination referendum in Catalonia. We want self-determination be, it's our right, it's like Scots' right, it's every people's right. It's, for God's sake, it's in the United Nations Charter. We're not asking for the moon, we're asking for our rights. So, thank you very much. Uh, and I know there is a break in this conference, so please use that break to come over with other Democrats and Catalans and friends of the Catalans up into George Street to express that we will not tolerate this in Europe 2019. Thank you very much. Només dues paraules en català. Només dues paraules en català. Per tots els joves que sou al carrer, els estudiants que heu tornat a sortir per defensar la democràcia, per defensar els nostres drets, pels que heu caigut empresonats, vull rendir-vos homenatge. Sou el nostre futur i sou la nostra esperança. Gràcies.